Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Quest again with your weekly vapor review. This week, we did get in my sample box. So that's six new flavors for us to try. Uh, I'm going to go down the list. Uh, from the sound of everything that's on this, we're pretty much just going to go straight down the list. There's not going to be any jumping around because it doesn't seem like there's going to be any flavors that I really need to worry about sticking in the wick. Might be a couple, but they'll be okay. Uh, but first off, we have Blueberry by Nectar. Uh, it's blueberry. That's all it says. Fresh blueberries. Uh, second up, we have Cumulus by 13th Floor Elevapers. Now, these guys, I've had a few of their flavors before. They're actually pretty good. So, this one I'm a little hesitant and curious about uh, because it's peaches and honey pecan scone. Could be good. Could be bad. We'll find out. Uh... Really nice bottle. Love the artwork on this. Very simplistic, just the, the logo for the company, but just like the colors, and I don't know if you can actually see it, but like there's, you know, design on it and everything. It's actually really nice. Uh, the third flavor is called Late Night Menu. It is by Vape Street Social. It is bananas and cream. Probably gonna love this one. Fourth flavor, Orange Dream by Liquid State. Uh, now, a buddy of mine who does reviews has done Liquid State before. He says they are actually really quite good. Uh, so I'm excited to try this one. Now, the bottle is really nice. It's a really, really vibrant red. Uh, it's like frosted, and you can't actually see through it like you can most other bottles. Uh, and each of the each of their flavors it looks like are based on a state this one is florida uh it is orange dream it's supposed to be an orange creamsicle i believe uh it says uh orange uh rich orange sherbet and vanilla cream uh the flavor is called orange dream uh now i cannot wait to actually give this a shot uh because i've heard really good things about liquid state uh by themselves i haven't actually had any of their flavors before so uh that one i'm actually really excited for uh the fifth flavor is pluto it is sweet blueberry menthol this one I actually might get saved for last uh probably not though uh love the bottle very simplistic uh you know very very simplistic label work uh, you know, black bars, clear writing, hair is a mess, apparently. Oh, well. Not doing this to look good. I'm doing it to have fun, right? Uh, but this is supposed to be... This looks actually like it would be an intriguing flavor. Uh, now, the last flavor is called The Roller Coaster. It is by Stash Ride. Every time I read that name. Every time I hear that name. I keep thinking uh, that scene from Super Troopers. Who wants a mustache ride? So, anyway, uh, this is a delightful fruit blend with orange and peaches. Label artwork is fantastic. Uh, so, I actually can't wait to give this a shot. Uh, so, those are my six flavors for the day. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go straight down the line. Forget jumping around. Let's just start with the blueberry. Literally, that's the name, Blueberry. I can tell you right now, the only thing, I, the, the thing I'm not liking about this bottle is it's one of those firm plastic ones. So you really got to to press it to get juice out of there. But, I mean, it smells nice. Very simplistic label artwork. Uh, there's no real artwork. It's just their logo uh, and the flavor and then the information about the juice, you know, six milligram. Uh, PG, P, PG, VG, which is 50-50 on this one. Uh, so this one's probably going to have a little bit of a throat hit. Uh, so, you didn't see that. Uh, so, let's go ahead and see what happens with this. Nice vapor production for a 50-50 blend. Um, it's blueberries. It's straight blueberry. It's almost artificial blueberry but it's not like it almost has you know it, it honestly has that um uh blueberry uh what is it um pop tart there we go blueberry pop tart flavor it almost has a blueberry pop tart flavor without the pastry from the pop tart so it's like that blueberry filling uh, which is actually pretty nice. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of a blueberry flavor to it. Uh, 
actually fantastic vapor production for 50 50 i didn't notice uh much of a throat hit on this so honestly i'd say it's a pretty good flavor they did a good job way to go nectar uh so yeah guys check that one out Oh, and I hit that one dry. Woohoo! Uh, as always, I know I always say it late, but as always, Reload, DNA 200, 13 Heaven, 9 Hells, Dripper. Uh, I did put some new coils in this. Uh, they're coils I had made a while back. Uh, they come to 0.16. Uh, I'm running it at 136 watts. So it comes to just about 4.7 volts, give or take. Uh, so that's my setup. Not much changes. I'm dying, dying to get that black and red uh, Relo RX200 with the uh, black and red double vision. Oh, that thing looks beautiful. Uh, but, you know, birthday coming up. We'll see what happens. This is the 13 Heaven 9 Hell Cumulus. Or, that's my dripper. 13th floor elevators. Elevators. I cannot talk. <sighs> a second, let me take a drink. Maybe that'll help. All right, so peaches and honey pecan scone. Definitely smells uh, like a scone, I'm not gonna lie. A buddy of mine growing up, his mom used to make us uh, scones on the weekends for our D&D games, so that's always fun. This'll be a nice treat. Oh, a little bit of a hint of peach. It's not overpowering like a lot of peaches that you uh, that, that I've had thus far. Little hint of peach. The honey is nice. Like I can really taste the honey on that. Uh, I don't get much of a scone taste or much of a, 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 a pecan taste, honestly. It does have a little bit of a nutty flavor, but it's not like overpowering it's it's kind of it blends really well with that peach it just kind of like it's a hint it's just a small hint of it that's actually a really fantastic flavor they did a really good job with that way to go guys at 13th floor uh but i definitely am going to recommend this one um as a surprise flavor from this sample box i mean it is you know really good oops sorry guys Let's move those up there. There's one that I've done. Okay. Next one is Late Night Menu, Banana and Cream, which we know I'm probably going to like. Let's face it. I'm biased. I love bananas. I know that sounded wrong. Zip it. You know who I'm talking to in the comment section. You know who I'm talking to. Zip it. Don't make the comment. All right. Bananas and Cream. Fantastic smooth flavor, uh, hints of banana, not overpowering. The cream is nice and smooth. Uh, it definitely has the banana flavor on it. It definitely, you can definitely taste that. But it's not like one of those really, really strong bananas that I've had before. Uh, like, you know, some of the bananas foster, you get really strong bananas. Uh, some of the banana and cream, uh, strawberry banana flavors I've done, really, really strong on the banana. This one is nice and mellow. It's smooth, no throat hit. Uh, it's 16% VG, or 60% VG, uh, so it's more VG, fantastic vapor production. Guys, I gotta hand it to you, like, Vape Street, you nailed it with this one. Like, I'm loving this flavor, and I'm not saying that because I'm biased against banana, I love, or for banana, I love bananas, yes, but this flavor is actually really, really on point. Like, they actually really did a fantastic job. So, definitely check that one out. Um, order it from Sample Box. Order it from wherever you can online. Track it down if you like bananas, because that's worth having. Uh, so, I'm going to clear off this, and I'm going to move on to the Orange Dream. Mmm, that's so good. All right, Orange Dream. Uh, it is the orange sherbet and vanilla cream. Oh, I see what he was talking about. Uh, my buddy in a past review that he did with the uh, the liquid state, he said that the drip tips or the drippers are a little difficult to actually fill up because they're small, 
they're they're small suction, but they've got a long drip uh, area, like you can see. So it. It's really difficult to fill this one up. I mean, I'm not trying to because I only want a couple drops, but, you know, for those of us that, you know, drip every day, all day, it's not like we have a tank or anything like that to fill. It's nice to be able to fill up the, the full thing and then drip it on a dry wick because it just sucks all of it up and you're good to go for a little bit. So uh, that's my only complaint with this one so far. Let's try the flavor and let's see how it works out. Uh, this is also a 65% VG, so vapor production should be pretty nice. Definitely taste the vanilla on it, the vanilla cream. I can, or the, yeah, the vanilla cream, I can definitely taste that in there. It's got a nice hint of orange. It's not, again, it's not overpowering. This is a very, this box seems to be very, very strong on flute, on fruit, flute, on fruit, but not overpowering fruit, which is actually really nice. Uh, these flavors probably won't last me very long, let's be honest. Uh, but this one is fantastic. It is, it is a wonderful flavor. It's a great mix between the orange sherbet and the vanilla custard, or the vanilla cream, I keep wanting to say custard. Uh, the vanilla cream blends very well together. It does taste like a creamsicle, uh, but a good creamsicle. I mean, like a really good creamsicle. So, yeah, guys, way to go. Check this one out. Fantastic vapor production, as I said. I'm actually really pleased with this one. Okay, moving on. Uh, we're going to Pluto, which is the Sweet Blueberry Menthol. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I love this bottle. Uh, it's it's similar to the um, the Gemini flavors I did a little while ago. Uh, the long skinny bottle uh, with very simplistic artwork, uh, label work on here. Uh, I actually really enjoy that. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Artificial. Very, very artificial flavor. I'm not even really getting any blueberry. I get a little bit of menthol, and it's not even like the good cooling sensation menthol in that. Uh, it's it's okay. Um, it's something I'd keep around for an emergency. I, I'm, I'm not actually going to recommend that flavor, guys. Uh, it's got good vapor production at 70% VG. It's got great vapor production, so it's good for visual. Flavor, it just doesn't do it for me. It's, it's not great, guys. I'm sorry. Um... Sorry, Nebula. It's 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 okay. All right, everyone, and now for the last one, uh, the Mustache Ride. It's the roller coaster by Stash Ride. Uh, it is the fruity blend with oranges and peach. So uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Again, I love the label work on this. Just looks fantastic. Oh, man. That's what I expect from an orange flavor, honestly. It's got a really strong orange flavor. It's one of those flavors that definitely hits you in the nose. Uh, the orange is very prevalent in that. I don't taste the peach so much, um, but it, it, I definitely taste the orange on that. That is what I expect from orange flavors, is just that exact flavor. Um, so they did a really good job. It is a fantastic flavor, 80% VG, great vapor production. Uh, it just, it, it's really, really tasty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that one as well. Um, so definitely check that one out. And my flavor for the day, surprisingly, I'm giving it to Cumulus. I'm giving it to 13 Floor Elevators with peaches and honey pecan scone. Uh, I love the banana flavors, don't get me wrong, but that one was a very surprising flavor. The honey was fantastic. Like, I could taste the honey in that. And the peaches was just not overpowering. It was wonderful. So... Good job, guys. Um, I'm giving you guys my flavor of the day, 
And that's all I've got for you this week. As always, have a great week and vape on.